America. This is Call of Duty Goddess. Today is April 26, 2016. I am at the Voice of Grant County, Oregon, at an article titled Exposed, posted by Becky. Hi, Becky. I love you. And Michael and Vicki. You're all three doing such wonderful work and giving up so much in order to do it. And I have so much respect for you and love. And um, I want to thank you again for what you're doing, Becky, Vicki, and Michael. Anyway, let's get on with this article here. This letter to the editor was submitted to Sean Hart, Blue Mountain Eagle editor, on April 15th and approved by him before printing in the paper. At 5.41 p.m. Monday, April 18th, I received a phone message from Marissa Williams, Blue Mountain Eagle manager and also daughter-in-law of King Williams. Hmm, that name rings a bell with me, and I'm not even from there. Go figure. I was informed the letter would not be printed because the use of coercing was a crime and the eagle could not be liable for what I wrote. So, let's go first of all to the Blue Mountain Eagle here. It has the history of the Blue Mountain Eagle, and really I haven't spent a lot of time looking, but I don't see who the editors are or anything like that. I, I haven't been able to find anything, and really I haven't spent a lot of time searching because I know who they are. <laughs> so the Blue Mountain Eagle obviously has quite a few editors because... Les Zates heads the investigative team of the Oregonian and Oregon Live. He, here it is, is talking about his lovely wife, Scotta. And he's saying, once an editor at the Oregonian, she is now editor of the Blue Mountain Eagle and John Day. Now, Les Zates, Scotta Callister, and Lyndon Zates own Mawyer Enterprise, which own Blue Mountain Eagle. Well, would you look at that? They also own this opulent ranch called Boulder Creek Ranch. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Let's have a look. See, see how beautiful this is. Oh my, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, I may have to come and visit you, Les. Maybe we can talk about all the things that you do in your spare time. And all the little boards that you're on and the nonprofits that you're on. and oh, Just so many things. But I would make sure that I would give it to the proper authorities first. Well, hi, Les. There you are, you little rascal, you. Yeah, here they are. They're on Middle Fork Lane in Oregon. And that just happens to be in Grant County. So, Les, you bought a place called Boulder Creek Ranch. Now, it just so happens the previous owners of Boulder Creek Ranch were kind of regulated out of the place. Wouldn't you know it? Coincidence? I don't believe in them. Do not believe in them. So, let's get back to this letter, shall we? More dots connecting every day. Hmm. Nikki was told that they would print the following letter after the elections. If this was so, we ask them, what was the reason? Perhaps after reading this, you can ask them yourself. I am Nikki Sprov. Nikki, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. If I'm not, I apologize. The big black fellow you see around the county. My wife Cheryl and I came here in 2013 to make Grant County our home. 
Being public-minded, I filed for several positions and was appointed to Grant County Planning Commission and elected to the Grant County Public Forest Commission. I also applied for the Grant County Public Access Committee and a position on the Sheriff's Force as a deputy. Sheriff Palmer was not hiring at the time and I was turned down. Soon after, I was approached by the following individuals. Boyd Britton, County Commissioner, Mark Webb, past County Judge, and King Williams. They encouraged me to file a discrimination suit against the Sheriff. I did so based on the belief it was racial. It was at the insistence of Britton, Webb, and Williams that I pursued the suit and filed it with the Department of Labor in Salem. So, let's get this straight here. Boyd Britton, County Commissioner, Mark Webb, past County Judge, and King Williams encouraged Nikki Sprov to file a discrimination suit against Sheriff Palmer, and he did so based on the belief that it was racial. He had been played. Well, Nikki, Mr. Sprov, I'm very sorry about that. Sir, you are not the only one, though. We've all been played. But it takes a real man to stand up and admit that someone played you and used you like that. And, sir, my hat's off to you. So let's continue. I did so based on the belief that it was racial. It was at the insistence of Britain, Webb, and Williams that I pursued the suit and filed it with the Department of Labor in Salem. Since then, after coming to know the sheriff and being more familiar with Grant County and its citizens, I came to the realization that I'd been played the fool by Britain, Webb, and Williams. Recently, I traveled to Salem of my own free will and dropped all charges against the sheriff. I have proudly served on the Grant County Public Forest Commission for two years and learned a lot about the issues facing county citizens. The terrible fire last summer and the devastation to home in the forest cemented my desire to see the commission fulfill its mandated purpose as supported by Grant County citizens. I regret that I was misled and caused arrest to Sheriff Glenn Palmer. I strongly feel that culpability lies with Boyd Britton, Mark Webb, and King William in coercing me to file a discrimination suit. I attest everything I have written to be the truth. Nikki Sprov, Grant County Public Forest Commission, Position 2. And thank you again, Nikki. I want to again reiterate Scott Callister, Lyndon Zates, Les Zates are involved in this as well because they are the owners, according to Les now, he owns and operates his own weekly newspaper along with his wife, Scott Callister. She is now editor of the Blue Mountain Eagle. Don't mean to be redundant, but it's very important that we know this. Nothing like controlling the old narrative, is it, Les Scotta, Inc.? Yeah, we we know how this goes. Gotta lock down all the media so you can control the narrative, right? Isn't that how it, how it works? How the game is played so you can put out all your propaganda. There's my name. My name in lights. I guess I'm being attacked too. See, YouTubers like, well, I'm not going to mention any names, but YouTubers that are spreading the truth, they get attacked by little attack dogs. The narrative that you think you're controlling, because you're not very good at what you do, you're just giving us more ammo. This is Call of Duty Goddess, signing off, and as always, I've got your six.